The purpose of this demonstration is to illustrate that face masks can diminish the movement of particles in the air, an important idea in public health. This demonstration is based on blowing flammable lycopodium powder from a tube into a flame to make a fireball. Because of the rapidly moving powder and the fireball, goggles should be worn and the demonstration should be run in a fire-resistant environment. Today, we are also blowing the powder through the tube using a squeeze bulb from a stomp rocket set. This is what the powder puff looks like with no flame. The powder is made of particles, which are spores from small plants called club mosses. This electron micrograph shows that the spores are about 30 micrometers in diameter. Here at Bradley University, we have referred to this as the dragon's breath demonstration. This adaptation could be called the dragon's cough or the dragon's sneeze. We will reload the tube, but this time we will place a face mask over the mouth of the dragon at the end of the tube. We will also light a propane torch several centimeters away from the dragon's mouth. Now we make the dragon pop into the dust mask. Notice that sometimes some powder might get through, but not enough to make a fireball. Wearing the mask helps cut down on the amount of material in the air. Finally, let's remove the mask from the dragon and try it again. Here, without the mask, much more powder gets to the flames. In a similar way, not wearing a face mask can allow more material, including germs, to leave a person's mouth and get into the surrounding environment.